Tudor just released the must-have chronograph of the year, and this watch is absolutely gorgeous. Tudor's Black Bay chronograph made a big splash in 2021 with its second generation, releasing both Panda and Reverse Panda styles. The watch drew inspiration from vintage Rolex Daytonas and quickly climbed the ranks as one of the best chronographs for around $5,000. Since then, Tudor has focused more on its dive watches and GMTs, leaving the Black Bay Chrono by the wayside and becoming more of a hidden gem in Tudor's catalog. All that has changed this year. First, we saw the extremely limited pink edition get released earlier this year, and it's now one of the hottest watches on the secondary market. Now, Tudor has unveiled another new reference of the Black Bay Chrono, and it's going to be the most crowd-pleasing one yet. Tudor is all about the blue. You're my boy, Blue! I'm absolutely in love with this watch, and I'm curious what you all think of this idea. Is it crazy that I might sell this Rolex Mariner, the 114060, to fund this new Black Bay Chrono? Tudor's latest chronograph is executed in a really gorgeous shade of Tudor blue, reminiscent of several blue dial watches from the brand's history, including vintage Tudor subs, the Black Bay 58, blue, and the Pelagos. The dial on this new chrono is sunburst, giving it a really eye-catching effect. It's paired with a matching blue aluminum tachymeter bezel insert and silver subdials that feature a subtle radial pattern. I know, aluminum, that will surely get some watch enthusiasts screaming, we want ceramic! The hands and indices are all coated in bright white superluminova, and pops of bright red are on the dial text and the chronograph seconds hand tip. The blue color is absolutely amazing, and I think it'll appeal to a lot of people, but it's not the only thing going on for this new Black Bay Chrono. Previously, models were only available on a three-link oyster-style bracelet with the basic folding clasp. Though the special pink version did receive an upgraded five-link bracelet that includes Tudor's micro-adjustable T-fit clasp. I'm excited to report that this new Blue Chrono has the same exact bracelet so we all can enjoy the five links and the T-Fit clasp. Everything else has the familiar features we all love from Tudor, including the box style sapphire crystal, the screw down pushers, 200 meters of water resistance, and the impressive COSC certified in-house caliber MT5813 automatic chronograph movement. Is this the chronograph of the year? Before today, it was looking like it was going to be the white Omega Speedmaster that debuted earlier in the year, but with this new blue Tudor Black Bay chronograph, I think they're making a really strong case. With any new hyped up release, this watch will probably be a little difficult to get. It's priced as the same as the pink version, which is $5,675, and it is a boutique edition, meaning you have to go to select Tudor stores to be able to get it. I'm really hyped up for this watch, and much like the Tudor Black Bay Monochrome, this is another great example of how Tudor is making some of the best watches in the past few years.